Artificial intelligence just took a giant leap forward. No more simple chatbots, no more basic automation. For the first time ever, an AI can control computers just like humans do. Anthropic has just launched its AI, Claude 3.5, an AI that can understand what it's looking at on your screen, figure out what to do next, and even catch its own mistakes. Update Today, Anthropic revealed two massive updates, an upgraded Claude 3.5 Sonnet and a brand new model called Claude 3.5 Haiku. They have also given Claude something no other Frontier AI model has ever had before, the ability to control computers. But what makes this truly revolutionary isn't just what it can do, it's how it does it. Unlike other AI tools that need special interfaces or custom programming, Claude can use any standard computer program or website, just like you and me, and it's not perfect. Sometimes it makes mistakes, just like humans do. But interestingly, it can recognize those mistakes and fix them on its own. In fact, during one of Anthropic's own demos, Claude got distracted and started browsing photos of Yellowstone National Park instead of completing its assigned task. Performance The numbers tell an impressive story. On SWE Bench Verified, a key software engineering benchmark, Claude 3.5 Sonnet jumped from 33.4% to 49.0%, surpassing every publicly available model, including OpenAI's specialized systems. On TAU Bench, measuring real-world tool use, it achieved 69.2% in retail tasks and 46.0% in complex airline scenarios. Major tech companies are not waiting to put this to the test. Asana, Canva, Cognition, DoorDash, Replet, and the browser company have already integrated these capabilities. Going through a quick demo today. In this fictional demo, a customer, in this case the Ant Equipment Company, has come to us and asked us to fill out a vendor request form. The data I need to fill out this form is scattered in various places on my computer. What we're going to do is ask Claude to look at the spreadsheet, check if AMP equipment is in there, and if not, move over to the CRM and try and find some more information there. Once it has this data, Claude's going to then fill out the form for us and hopefully transfer the information across to the, the vendor form. First thing that's going to happen is Claude's going to start taking screenshots of my screen and quickly realizes that the Ant Equipment Company isn't actually in the spreadsheet. So the first thing it does is it swaps over to a CRM and searches for the company we're interested in. Luckily, we get a search match and Claude then starts scrolling through the page looking for all the information it needs to fill out this form. Claude then autonomously starts transferring the information across without me having to do anything. And goes through the, the steps and fills out all the information needed. And then submits the form. Replit, for instance, is using Claude to evaluate applications in real time, performing tasks that require hundreds of sequential steps to complete. But why is this such a monumental shift? Well, because in computer control tests, Claude achieved 14.9% accuracy in screenshot-only tasks, nearly doubling the performance of the next best AI system. When given more steps to complete tasks, that number jumps to 22%, setting a new standard for AI-computer interaction. Dominance the performance metrics for Claude 3.5 paint a picture of unprecedented dominance across every major testing category. In graduate-level reasoning tasks, Claude not only matched, 
but surpassed both GPT-4 and Google's Gemini 1.5 Pro, setting new standards for AI intellectual capabilities. The improvement is particularly striking in the MMLU Pro evaluations, where Claude achieved a 3% gain over its previous benchmarks, a margin that might seem small, but represents a significant leap in the world of AI performance metrics. Perhaps most impressive is Claude's performance in specialized tasks. The model's capabilities in high school math competitions nearly doubled, showing its enhanced analytical abilities. In visual understanding tests, Claude pushed the boundaries even further, achieving a 2% improvement that established new state-of-the-art standards for how AI systems process and interpret visual information. When tested in actual development environments, Claude's improved performance meant faster code generation, more accurate bug detection, and more sophisticated problem-solving approaches, all while maintaining the speed and reliability that developers need for real-world applications. Industry Impact the real-world impact of Claude 3.5's capabilities is already sending ripples through the tech industry, with major companies reporting dramatic improvements in their development processes. GitLab's implementation of the model has yielded particularly impressive results, demonstrating a 10% improvement across their DevSecOps tasks without any additional latency, a achievement that typically forces companies to choose between speed and performance. Cognition's experience with Claude 3.5 tells an equally compelling story. Their team reported substantial improvements in autonomous coding capabilities, with the AI not only writing code, but actively participating in the planning and problem-solving phases of development. This has led to a fundamental shift in how their developers work, with Claude handling routine tasks while team members focus on more creative and strategic aspects of development. The result has been significantly reduced development cycles and more accurate code output. Perhaps most telling is the browser company's evaluation, where Claude 3.5 consistently outperformed every AI model they had previously tested. Their implementation revealed Claude's exceptional ability to handle complex web-based workflows, demonstrating an extraordinary level of adaptability across different web interfaces. What sets this apart is not just the model's ability to complete tasks, but its capacity to understand context, handle errors gracefully, and adapt to unexpected situations, much like an experienced human developer would. Safety In developing Claude's computer control capabilities, Anthropic has implemented one of the most robust safety frameworks ever designed for an AI system. The architecture employs an array of new classifiers specifically engineered to monitor and identify real-time computer use activities. This system doesn't just track actions, it actively analyzes them, creating a continuous feedback loop that helps prevent potentially harmful operations before they occur. The operational controls are equally impressive and multi-layered. Anthropic has instituted a mandatory 30-day minimum retention period for all screenshots captured during Claude's operations, providing a comprehensive audit trail for security reviews. Access to sensitive operations is tightly controlled through a series of graduated permissions, with critical actions requiring explicit human confirmation before execution. But most importantly, the system includes sophisticated isolation capabilities that can effectively quarantine sensitive data from unnecessary exposure. The validation process for these safety measures has been equally thorough. Through joint pre-deployment testing with both the US AI Safety Institute and the UK Safety Institute, Claude's security framework has undergone rigorous evaluation. This collaborative approach to safety testing represents a new standard in AI deployment, ensuring compliance with the comprehensive ASL2 standard while maintaining the flexibility to adapt to emerging security challenges. But the real thing is that this is just the beginning. 
Remember, this is still in beta. What we are seeing now is like the first smartphones. Revolutionary, but just scratching the surface of what's possible.